Hi everyone, I'm Julie Gagne from Julie's Everything Treasures and it's the 11th of December. Can you believe it is the 11th of December? I hope you've got all your Christmas shopping done, your decorations up and you're ready for the season. I do have my Christmas shopping done and I have most of my Christmas decorations up. This is one I'm making for my home so this one's going to be added to my home decorations and uh, my next thing I'll be doing is all my baking for the holidays as I've got family coming to me this year. So this is Julie's Everything Treasure. I'm Julie and it's the 11th of December, my 11th day of my 12 days of Christmas. So it's day 11 of my 12 days of Christmas countdown and this is what we're making. Isn't that adorable? And we're going to get started here. Um, Put that one to one side and basically what I have this is a jar I got from the Dollar Tree it, the clear top I've just painted the top black so clear top jar that I got from the Dollar Tree dollar twenty five and this is a vase I got from the Dollar Tree again dollar twenty five and I have stuck these two together and this is what I've used to stick it together. I've stuck them together and they need to be actually left overnight, good eight hours to stick properly. So do what I say, not what I'm doing right now because I'm trying to do this to show you guys today. But um, I would glue this together and while it's you know drying, you can paint the top black as I just have done. Um, but the rest leave it, let it go the next day, do what I'm doing now. But I don't have the time to leave it right now. I will let it dry overnight tonight, but I think I need to get painting on this. So I am going to get some black paint and get going on this painted up. You need some kind of, and it doesn't matter which brand, I'm not preferable to certain brands. This one actually is, I believe, from Home Depot, I think. Nope, this one's from Walmart. So it doesn't have to be an expensive one. As I say, paint the lid. I've already got one coat on here. Paint the lid. Ooh, rolled away from me. Black. Quite often if you've got it nice and thick and the brush quite dry, you only need one coat. When I was doing the first coat on this, I actually had the brush a little too wet and uh, now I have to do a second coat, but that's okay, we can do that and I can be showing you. So just quickly, nicely brush everywhere, you want the whole top to be a solid black colour, that simple. Put that to one side, let it dry, and then, as I say, we're going to do this very gently because it's not fully stuck. It's going to take overnight, as I've said. But you're going to be basically covering with black paint. And I'll show you here. Up to, it's hard to show you while I'm doing this, but you want to go up to that first ring and then paint black all the way around up to the first ring on the jar. All the Dollar Trees, Dollar Stores have these jars, they're pretty cheap. I actually decoupage some of them and uh, do napkins on some of them. But this one I, I thought would be a great idea for Christmas and just paint. the base black there you go turn it around again without trying to get too much paint on my hands it's not easy to paint because I don't want to put too much pressure on because it's not fully dry but you've got the idea here turn one more time without getting too much of my 
<laughs> fingerprints in the paint there. I'm a messy girl today. There you go. And paint it all black. When it's dry, paint the bottom too black. And as I say, just the first, up to the first ring around the bottom, just to make it look like it's got a base. And there you go. That is going to be wet for a while. And just put a little bit of a dryer on here, just to get it a little bit dry. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> So there you go, you get an idea of this. I do need to kind of move it a little bit out of the way. When it's dry, have a look around. There will be parts that you've missed and you also have to do the bottom of it. Um, paint it black, do a second coat if you feel you need to. And then uh, you're going to then use some Mod Podge here. Get the Mod Podge and you Put on the sides, dab it on, and then sprinkle on the sides a little bit of the Epsom salts. Now what I do is basically, I can't do it because I'm not ready for it on this one, sorry guys, but I have a tray of Epsom salts here, and what I do is I put, I'll show you a little bit here. Do this all the way around. Don't just do it on one side like I'm showing you. Do it all the way around. Don't put too much on this one. This actual craft doesn't need a lot. But uh, basically just spring. Ooh. See that's what I didn't want to happen but I'll just show you here. Because it's got to dry. It's got to stick. But that's basically you're going to be doing that all the way around. And just let this dry. I'm going to leave it alone so it doesn't break on me but um, yeah when it's finished that'll look amazing. Go all the way around with the Epsom salts and the sprinkles. Don't drop it. Make sure the whole thing is secure and you've got the glue all done and everything and then you'll find some ribbon like this and put ribbon around. Make a bow then make sure the bow is slightly to one side like I've done and then I've got one piece of this flocked little I took this off another crafter that I had some leftovers and I used the glue gun to put some glue on and I put it just under the bow and stuck that on then I found two little leaves, so I'll show you. I, I got two not tiny little leaves here. So when you've got this on, you have two tiny little leaves that I stuck on top. So I stuck those on, getting these ready for my next one, so that's why I'm cutting it and can show you at the same time. So you see the two little leaves and then I got the three little red berries that I cut off one of my stems and I think I've got some more here for the next one. Some, yeah. So uh, and stuck those on. I made it simple. It's just a little tiny bit of greenery. The bow. I got one of those. Let's see if I can get this lid off. No, I can't right now because it's still got a stick. The flickering candle inside is one of the Dollar Tree ones, the flickering candle, put it inside and when all this is completely dry and stuck on, you then will be able to take the lid off and uh, 
Let's see if I can do it here. <coughs> yeah, got it. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me, people. <laughs> see, it's one of those, the Dollar Tree little flickering candles. You can switch them on and off. Anyway, when this is fully dry, you'll be able to do this, put it in, and then stick the lid back on. Turn it on and off whenever you feel like it. Push down and it's done. There you go. So I will have two of these ready and put in in my house. And when I've done my house, I'll be able to show you the finish. But this one's still got to dry. Still got to do a second coat of paint. And when you've painted it, I don't know if I said before, it's one of those days today. I don't know. It's one of those days today. Paint the base, paint the lid, paint a little bit around, all black, to two coats if you feel it needs it. Make sure you paint the bottom too, I haven't done that yet. Paint the bottom. When the glue is fully dry and the paint is fully dry, do a clear coat on top, do a poly on top so that it doesn't scratch off. Because chalk paint does paint on glass, but it does easily scratch, so you need to poly it so that it doesn't scratch off. When you've done that, as I say, use your Mod Podge. There you go, you can get that from dollar stores, Walmart,